Hi. I'm Tony. And I'm... Well, you know who I am. The guy who has it all. Wealth, fame, impeccable taste in suits. What do you get the man with everything? A chance to give something back. Hands by my sides. Palms back. <laughs> good. Feels good. All right. Time to open her up. Opening targeting suite. Repulsors ready. Hands up. Palms forward. Bullseye. You may have a problem, Tony. Pepper, I have a lot of problems. I'm serious. You in this armor. Do I need to stage an intervention? Only if I start wearing it to bed. Where are you, anyway? Look out the window. Oh, hi, handsome. Looks like you made some upgrades. Three more targets to go. Two more targets left. One more. Time to fly. Enjoying the view? We should have lunch out here. I'm not climbing that. I'll carry you. <laughs> It'll be a dark day when I let you carry me wearing that thing. Inspecting the foundations? I should have a secret entrance down here. You know, it's not a secret if you tell me about it. Anyone for tennis? No, you always win. Oh, come on, we can play doubles. What's next? Time trial. Mind if I watch? You know I work better with an audience. Let's start with boost. <laughs> that was wow. I think if 
I swap the DC motor for a solar power converter and apply quarter-inch magnetic articulation seals to boot thrusters, it can reduce my drag coefficient by 10, maybe 10.5 percent. Okay. Should I be writing this down? No need. You've got a mind like a steel trap. Oh, yeah? When's my birthday? Yeah, I'm sorry, Pepper, you're cutting out. Sounds like you need to reduce your BS output. Warm up the jets. I want to punch something. Fist rockets engaged. Time now I'll try the other hand. Knockout! <laughs> Just like Happy Hogan Tommy. Great shot. Bullseye. Time to punch out. Well done, Tony! Did you get what you needed? Or are you gonna go again? Maybe later, after I noodle on it some more. Sounds good. Meet me back here when you're ready. As you know, we have something to celebrate. Trapped in a cave with a gun to your head and a battery hooked to your heart really changes your outlook on things. My days of making weapons were over. I was proud of that. More importantly, Pepper was proud of me. Better not keep Pepper waiting. <clears throat> hey, Pepper. Can't fault you for staring. Oh, please. I'm just shocked to see you out of the armor. I was afraid it'd fuse to your skin.
I'm working on something like that. Oh, wait. That's worth more if I sign it. It's worth more if I sign it. I forge your signature better than you do, Tony. I'm capturing the moment. As of today, Stark Industries no longer makes or sells weapons of any kind. Sounds official coming from you. Have you seen my glasses? Think you left them in the living room. I'm headed up to the Overlook. Grab your glasses and meet me there. We can just catch the sunset. There they are. A better way to see the world. Hey, Tony, looks like you found him. I'm waiting for you at the Overlook. Well, don't start the party without me. Just one thing I gotta do first. Pack up the past. Sometimes to win, you have to quit. Ah, the sounds of progress. New garage, new life. Dad always said stick to your guns. Sorry, Howard. We did things your way long enough. I was a changed man. Pepper was convinced of that. And with her help, soon the world would be convinced of that. The hardest part was convincing myself. My former self. Catch up to Pepper. Candlelit dinner, Tony? You're full of surprises. <clears throat> if you only knew. No silverware? We'll use our hands. Ooh, tapas. Uh, see. Si. To 
to start, Palma de Fuego. So, we're not having dinner. Um, not exactly. What? Huh, right on cue. Stark Industries drones? Combat drones. Last of them. The dregs. I figured they deserve a worthy send-off. If you're gonna blow stuff up, at least move away from the fine china. Let's put the past in its place. Drone versus Repulsor. Stark versus Stark. Like I always say, Tony, you're your own worst enemy. So what's on the other plate? Codpiece? <laughs> no. Dessert. Something sweet? Bittersweet. Here goes. The gunsmith AI? It's time the old Tony hung up his spurs. Boss, Miss Potts, where's the party? Wherever you go. Not a fan of my new drones, huh? Well, S.H.I.E.L.D. is on for it. Director Fury put in a full order. I canceled that order. What? You're shutting me down. Early retirement. You've earned it. Boss, I'm... It's not your fault. I made you to make weapons. Created you in my own image. And now you want to change that image. I want to change the world. So, do I go to the trophy case or the trash? You're top shelf, pal. I'll keep you around. Suspended animation, but with full internet privileges. Well, guess I'll take up surfing. You cool? Gunsmith? But me? Of course I'm cool. I'm him. Well, let's get to it, boss. A life of leisure awaits. See you on the other side. That wasn't easy. I'll take him. He was good at what he did. But what he did wasn't good. The world doesn't need another cruise missile or smart bomb. The world needs you, Tony. The world needs Iron Man. Strange.
morning, sir. May I get you something? Friday. Have you seen Pepper? I believe she's putting out a fire. Did I start it? She's been on the phone with the press all morning. Something about your surprise announcement caused quite a stir. Or don't you watch the news? Tony Stark, no stranger to stunning revelations, shocked the business world today when he named Pepper Potts the new CEO of Stark Industries. During a press conference, Mr. Stark admitted he had not informed Ms. Potts of his decision prior to the announcement. Perhaps you jumped the gun, sir. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. She's gonna thank me. I'm gonna kill you. I'm your assistant, Tony. You need to warn me before you do stuff like this. You're not my assistant. You're the CEO of Stark Industries. Or don't you watch the news? I should... I'm gonna... Pepper, I'm not always right. I mean, I'm usually right, Tony! But here's the thing. I wasn't put on Earth to sit behind a desk. And you weren't put here to handle my unpaid parking tickets. I was gonna ask if there are any more of them. There are glove boxes full of them, that's not the point. The company turned a corner years ago. We're a force for good in this world. And I want you to get that message out there. Don't people always try to shoot the messenger? No. <laughs> Friday, who taught you how to fly? Uh, you did, sir. Unfortunately, I'm not in control right now. Someone has taken us over. Remotely. Out there! It's a Stark drone! A combat drone? We don't make combat drones anymore. The drone is encasing itself in some sort of hard light shield. Hello, Stark. Do I know you? I'm just a ghost from your past. Tony, look! Incoming! Time to die. Tony! Tony! Friday, your airline just lost my luggage. Then file a complaint when we land. Override my safety belt. Pepper, I... I know! Just come back in one piece! All systems online. Just in time. I got a plane to catch. You can't outrun your past, Star. We'll see about that. <laughs> Can you hear me? A little windy, but yeah, I hear you. Right. 
Sir, we have a massive breach in the hull. Old news, Friday. Tell me about something I didn't just jump out of. Scanning. There's an engine fire that needs your attention. <laughs> a secondary explosion on the right engine, sir. Got it. Fire suppression system online. I've always said you're hot-headed. That's one less burning issue to deal with. Good job, sir. Sir, the autopilot is no longer responding, and the jet is projected to crash into a populated area. I'll deal with the autopilot. Pepper, no, stay put. It's too dangerous. Says the guy who jumped out of the plane. Any more from our mystery guest? They're giving us the silent treatment, but their hounds are clawing at the door. Show them in. Hold them. has been damaged. Is that fixable? We'll have to wing it. Our hacker friend has returned. <laughs> Friday? Friday? All systems are down. The big one's back. My controls are locked! Pepper! It's vanished from 
on radar. I can see him. Get me back online. Systems restored. Tony, nothing's responding here. Sir, I believe the jet is officially a lost cause. Pepper, find an exit. Right. There's a panel beneath your feet, a compartment. It leads to the nose landing gear. Found it! Climbing down now! I'll meet you under the jet! Usually, I see the danger before it hits, even from 20,000 feet. But someone got the drop on us. It was 3 a.m. when I left Pepper at the hospital. I had a plan, and I knew she wouldn't like it. I went home, and I woke up the guy who knows my old weapons better than anyone. friend. Hey, boss. Hey, pal. Where's the party? Wherever you go. Oh, great. I smell like feet. Whoa, ho, ho. Blast from the past. It's a power core from an old drone. You recognize it? Of course I recognize it. I built it. That's odd. There's no serial number. Where is it from? Hoping you can tell me. Sir, 
Miss Potts has been moved to a secure location, but her... Sorry, I didn't realise we had company. I'm more like family. Uh, Friday, this is the gunsmith. You bring me up to speed here, doll. Hey! I'm not a touch screen. Gunsmith, show some respect. Wait, shh, 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 shh. Oh, no. Miss Potts. She's... She's in hospital. And the cowards that put her there? Still at large. Help me find them. Oh, we'll find them, boss. And when we do... Uh, uh, what is that? A little early in the morning for power cords. Smith drag this thing out of storage? We've not encountered before, allowing them to appear out of nowhere. Hey, boss, you're up! <laughs> So's the neighborhood! Turn that down, will you? Meet me over at your suit when you have a sec. I got a surprise for you. He's... passionate. I'll give him that. You have really gone all in on the whole superhero thing, haven't you? Did you find out where those drones came from yet? So serious. And yes. I mean, no. I mean, I will. But I've been thinking. You've built a pretty great suit. But I think I can make it even better. Standing on the shoulders of giants, of course. Pal, I brought you back to figure out... You brought out me back because we're in a street fight. And you know I don't pull any punches. Just take a look. All right, give me the sales pitch. So, I've analyzed your armor and found places where we could make potential upgrades. 
You can view and customize the equipment in each of these slots by activating their corresponding UI widget. Go ahead, boss. Select one of the auxiliary weapon slots. This virtual workstation is where you can choose equipment to build and integrate into your suit. You can put together all kinds of gunpowder-based goodies here, boss. Let's start with smart missiles. If you want to arm yourself with knowledge as well as hardware, the specs on each weapon appear above the hollow table. For now, let's go ahead and build these. When it comes to this stuff, boss, I always say the more the merrier. Equip those smart missiles to your other arm, too. Good thinking, pal. Now let's go see what these beauties can do. It'd be a tragedy not to, boss. But feel free to mess around with your suit some more if you want. And when you're ready, I'll still have you test the smart missiles first. Cause, well, that's how I designed the module. Suits lit, boss! We all start somewhere, boss. What's old is new again! This one's worthy of commanding a Roman army, boss. UV one smooth operator in that.
Let's make some noise! The Gunsmith AI's brand of help came with a warning label. But I was concerned about the night of, not the morning after. It felt like stumbling back into an old haunt after years away. There was no judgment, no, where have you been? Just, what'll you have? menu today, sir. Gunsmith suggested I brush up on the fundamentals. Oh, did he? That's a surprise coming from him. But encouraging, I suppose. What would you like to do first? Let's start with ground pound. Oh, I love this one. Let me find a good place to test this out. I recommend you manually engage thrusters to focus on ground pound. Give me a target to hit. How do you aim it, sir? I pick a spot and then make a fist. Another target, please, Friday. All right. I admire your handiwork, sir. That's nothing. Friday, give me nine targets. Nine, sir? Well, someone's feeling brash. I can hit them all if I do this right. You appear to favor the rocket punch. I know. Let's go for a true ground pound. Smashing, sir. What's next? Smart missiles. Oh, something gunsmith made. Sir, I was under the impression you brought him back to locate the source of your old drones. He's a skilled multitasker, just like me. Indeed, sir. It's just... Well, I thought we were brushing up on the fundamentals and... That's right, Fryder. And these wrist-mounted beauties put the fun in fundamentals. So give me a new target. Please. Certainly, sir. Move to position. Okay, these are auxiliary weapons, so hands up, palms down. Got it. Try aiming with your left gauntlet, paint the target, and fire. Whoa! Those pack a punch! Try aiming with your right gauntlet, sir. Paint all of the targets this time. <laughs> Gunsmith is not messing around. Instead, why don't we review your repulses, sir? Sure, I know these. 
Hands up, palms forward. You're all hat at this. I mean, I am Iron Man. Beautiful. Let's test weapon switching. Pulsar's palms up, auxiliary's palms down. Suddenly, yellow for repulsors, red for auxiliaries. All right, Friday. Time to take this show on the road. Feels like the good old days. Got a lot of fine ingredients. Let's throw them in the pot together. A cooking class, sir. Excellent idea. I'll set up the flight course. <laughs> All right, time to rock and roll. Missing a waypoint results in a penalty. Be sure to hit them all. Break one minute if you try again. Nope, I'm full. We'll call it a day.
Welcome back, boss. <sighs> Thanks, pal. Friday. What you working on over there? I've put together an early warning system to track our friend from the jet. Have a look when you can. Hey boss, I've added a dock on the right here where you can select which armor to equip and configure. Your primary or your backup. Enjoy! Got it. Sir, I've established a visual of our enemy's MO using their recent attacks on your buildings in London and Dubai. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing a pattern that could tell us where hey, they'll strike hey, hey. next. I got it, boss. Oh, sure, just walk right in. You're more important. Using an unclassified war game simulator, I cross-referenced the jet attack with military strategy dating back to 1743. Then I ran the results through a chess program developed in the 1980s by a Russian agent known only as Victor the Fly. Now, Victor was almost certainly insane. However, whoa, he was whoa. able to Get do... Get to the bloody point! Shanghai. That's where our enemy will strike next. So that just happened. Do you think he's right, sir? When it comes to stuff like this, he usually is. Right. In that case, let me explain the globe. It's an early warning system that displays current threats and can even anticipate new ones. Grab the rotation ring and swipe it left or right to spin the globe to a mission location. Got it. As you can see, Shanghai is currently highlighted. Select it to proceed. Going forward, when choosing a location, you can review the data I've prepared for an upcoming mission. When you're ready, press the deploy button to depart for Shanghai. Back in the day, buying a Stark weapon meant buying a seat at the high-stakes table. My brand put a few countries on the map, and wiped a few off it. Occasionally, our tech wound up in the wrong hands. But nothing like this.
Streets are deserted. The city's under curfew, sir. It appears our friend from the jet is making a mess of things. And Stark Tower is on lockdown. Let's check it out. Scanning the tower. Sir, I'm getting some confusing readings. From the tower? I can't locate the source, but it's close. Look out! It's created a gravity well. It's pulling us in. That drone seems to defy the laws of physics. And the laws of attraction. It's an old Stark-built Meridian mine. We didn't build it to do that. Sir, its unusual energy signature is still present. Eyes peeled, Friday. I bet there's more around. I've detected a concentration of signals. Displaying now. Sounds like we got something's attention. There's at least one mine nearby. New signals emerging near the waterfront. These mines are way too dangerous in a city. We need to get rid of them. Turn Shanghai into a minefield. Why? I'm clear. I'm still attempting to access Stark Tower's security system. Still? I didn't think there was a hacker alive that could keep you out. There's another concentration of mines over the South Bridge. Mines are keeping us busy. A plausible scenario, sir. Well, it's working. We can't just ignore them. active mines above Shanghai. More hostiles approaching. Around here somewhere. Every time I lock onto a mine signal, it slips away. Block party seems to have moved to a new block. The enemy's drawn us away from your building. What don't they want me to see? Sir, look! They're targeting Stark Tower. That's a defensive formation. They're guarding it. Friday. What do you bet our mystery friends inside? As I have no gambling protocol, sir, I suppose I'll wager nothing. There are two 
my sparring session with Happy. That was all the workout I need. Are we in the system yet? Still locked out. I suggest you come see for yourself. The tower office remains compromised, sir. You should check it out. Friday, flashback time. I'm 14, I accidentally set fire to my dad's laboratory. Long story. Anyway, he changes the locks on me. Sir? So I take it as a teachable moment. Learn a thing or two about breaking and entering. Just have to remove this panel. Rip out this wire to disrupt the circuit. Open sesame. Fourteen-year-old me would be so proud. Like you said, sir, the drones were protecting whoever vandalized your office. Love what they did with the place. How did they get in? There's no sign of forced entry. Let's check out the computers. They were looking for something, but I'm not sure what. Spoke too soon. Tim Shung. Not in my databanks. Friend of yours? Friday? You get the feeling we're not alone? More than a feeling, sir. Uh, switch to near infrared, but keep the visible spectrum. There's someone else in here. Electromagnetic traces of their presence all around. Then let's find them. Someone ate my drunken chicken. That's not funny. <gasps> Expecting a call Friday? Wrong number. Very wrong indeed. I thought I left this thing unplugged. It is unplugged, sir. Summer of 2019, a new of strength and prosperity rose above the glistening city state of Shanghai. Storm.
It's quiet out there. For now. Hello? You in there? You know, the gym has showers. That's that was unpleasant. More than a dozen people are dead after a drone strike in Sinkari. A later attack involving Stark Industries. Stark Industries wants to make a kill another black guy. The report suggests that 40% of the proceeds from the charity weapons may cost the stock. Of course, and the All of which begs the question when, if ever, will Tony Stark face the music? So you got a name? Or should I just call you Ghost? My name is unimportant. It is the others. Those whose lives your weapons ended. They are the names you will know before you die. Like Tim Shung? One of many. Yeah. I got no clue who that is. You will. He is with us in this room. We all we are. The silent majority. We want to meet you, Tony Star. It's time. Join us. Where'd she go? She's not showing up on my senses, but... What? Incoming surface-to-air missiles. Old Stark hover tanks? She's playing all of these. Thanks, but no tanks. Really, sir? Sir, I'm reading additional tanks en route to this location. Ah, table flip! Not today! Can't believe she dug these out. Director Fury had a standing order for two fleets of tanks before we closed production. Yeah, we miniaturized the turbines that keep the helicarrier flying, created a true altering view. A revolutionary weapon fallen into the wrong hands. The story of my life. Excellent zone defense. Suit helmet.
itself below optimal, but not critical. Get that out of here. More time to shoot down incoming missiles. Sent help is suboptimal. Nice shot. Was that the last of those tanks, Friday? For the moment, the board is clear. Fine. Now, where's this ghost? Right here. Let's talk power. Not the kind you yield. The kind you yield. These are the headquarters of firms your company employed for the manufacturing and distribution of Stark weapons. Most of those guns, rockets, and bombs were sold to people you never met. To kill people you never knew. She's transmitting some kind of signal. Intercepting. It's an activation code. Since you refuse to die for your sins, Stark, others must die for you. Can you? Friday? Sir, she's overridden the reactors that power those buildings. I'm detecting catastrophic coolant system failures. We haven't much time. How is she doing this? Scanning for suspicious devices. I'm detecting electrical wiring not in the reactor schematics. Let's see where those wires lead. I think we found one of the devices. Friday, enhance X-ray imaging. To disable the device, you'll need to extract the processor core. Friday, how's our reactor looking? The reactor's no longer overheating, but a cascade failure has begun. We'd better shut it down fast. Let's see what we got. The correct sequence to shut down the reaction is- No time for that. I'll have to brute force it. You... punched it. Why overcomplicate things? Two reactors remain in a critical state. I'm going as fast as I can. That may be unwise. I'm detecting more mine signatures. How many? Too many. There are dozens of people trapped in this building. Show me. That's a lot of people. It's nothing compared to the innocence your weapons have killed. So you keep reminding me. Why are you doing this? You'll see. Sir, there are two gateway devices hacking this reactor. Display time to cascade failure. Yes, sir. More hostiles inbound. They'll make disabling the gateway devices difficult. to the gateway devices. Device neutralized. You've only one gateway left to disable.
be safely shut down. Or punched, I suppose. Hey, we're in a hurry, aren't we? Oh. You are taking entirely too much pleasure in this. I prefer to call it being super heroic. Now for the last one. More mine, sir. We're just gonna have to take our chances. Man, we saw this passion when your weapons rained death and destruction. in the reactor, sir. No pressure. You've only one gateway left to disable. lead to the devices we need to disable. Broken. Back to the reactor. Lights out. That's the last one. You fast when shareholders lie to at stake. Why not? Maybe if you wish. She's accessing the servers in Stark Tower. Let's show her just how fast we can move. Tell me no one was in there. Correct, sir. All clear. Interesting, the colors you chose. Red and gold. Blood and greed. I see. Oh, good. Here comes another scintillating lecture on social responsibility from a terrorist. Under that armor, you're a frail coward. Powerless. Like your former victims in their final moments. But in death. These victims have the power. I speak to them, and on their behalf, we say farewell, Stark. Friday, get ready. Stay alive. For an 
opening. Your armor's not rated for combat on this scale, sir. You don't know me very well. Hey, boss! Gunsmith, stay off this channel! Boss, before you left, I packed you a hot lunch. I call it the enabler. My old Unibill? New and improved. <laughs> yeah! Take a memo, Friday. That's how you win a fight. Put a sock in it, dumb smith. Thanks for the stowaway, pal. Just a shame it's one and done. Oh, ye of little faith. I added an ambient power collector to your chest piece. Harvests the energy given off when a drone goes boom. So blow up bots to charge the unit. Circle of life, boss. to this. Nice work. No surprise, I'd know what you need. Got any more, ghost? Not in stock. Maybe you should close up shop for the night. Sure. I got what I needed. A well-earned beatdown? The confidential files off your network. Can you later? How rude. Does the name Tim Shung mean anything to anyone? Not on my end. Friday? Record search is negative, sir. I'll look into it further.
You appear to have a phone call in the kitchen, sir. Could be Pepper calling. Tony? Pepper, how are you feeling? Like I fell out of an airplane. You sound pretty spry for that. Well, someone broke my fall. You get a name? No, but he was quite dashing. Sharp suit, strong jaw. Hey, boss. He's on the phone, you imbecile. Is that Gunsmith? Oh, hey, Potts. How's the hospital? What kind of drugs are they giving you? Hang up immediately. Boss, when you're done canoodling, I need you to check out something downstairs. I'm sorry, sir. I told him you were not to be disturbed. Where did he come from? The ninth circle of hell, I'm afraid. Could everyone just give us a minute, please? Of course, sir. Good to hear you're in fine fettle again, Miss Potts. Thanks, Friday. Take care. The gunsmith, Tony? What were you thinking? Two Tonys are better than one? <sighs> you really should have gotten a second opinion on that. Yeah, well... My second opinion was undergoing a brain scan at the time. Speaking of which, I should rest. Be safe. And don't let your worst half torture Friday. Passable. The sweet science. What is up with Sunday? Friday? Oh, totally. And she is great, by the way. Sweet, lovely accent. What's your point? She's not like us, boss. Let's face it. She can't build the big guns. If she could, you wouldn't have called me out of retirement. I should be your onboard AI. Well, Friday is excellent in the field. <laughs> well, obviously. Obviously. I mean, totally. I'm just saying. You know. Think about it, boss. Just show me what you made. Sure. Step right up. What's all this? Know your enemy. It's what you always told me, boss. This station allows you to look up information on drones we've encountered on the battlefield. Grab a drone icon and pull it out of the virtual workstation to view its specs. Rotate the 3D model, or 
read up on the drone statistics in the windows to your left and right. When you're done, feel free to pull out another drone hologram or put this one back in the table. This place stays online 24-7, so drop by anytime you're feeling thirsty for knowledge. I'll continue to update the database as we encounter more enemy drones. Impressive stuff. It's why you made me, boss. Ghost calls this one the Skull. The way it charges, she definitely wants to bash in mine. It fires up hard light shields when it's ready to bounce. So, you know, watch out for that. Ghost calls this a Grim. Grim sums up my chances of avoiding them. They come out of nowhere. Use your ears and stay on your toes. When you hear them clicking, it's game time. Ghost really went all in modding our old drones. Hard light, custom firmware, she even gave them new names. Hey, I respect an artist. I have shot down a lot of these. Ghost calls this the Phasm, your garden variety wraith. Phasm? She's got a theme. Yeah, it dips ahead and pelts you with rare shot. Your repulsors chew them like popcorn. You got this. Hey, Friday. Sir? Download Ghost's drone names from the research station for your battlefield reports. She resurrected them, they're hers now. Do whatever, boss, but under her coat of paint, the chassis still says Stark. Why didn't you tell me, sir? About? Phony, Tony. There's no record of him in my database. Well, he was sort of a silent partner. <laughs> I'm a genius! Woo! A silent partner? Yeah. With all due respect, sir, I must ask, do you trust him? He's on a short leash. Of course. No, you're right. Have a look at this, sir. Tell me you found Ghost's location. Still working on it, sir. But I've programmed additional functionality into this globe to better prepare us for her next move. Select a location to proceed.
Selecting locations will display a list of relevant missions, including ones you've completed. Nice work, Friday. I've also programmed several flight courses that should help us test your armor's capabilities. Friday, are you afraid of being outdone by Gunsmith? Hardly, sir. In stark contrast to his offerings, mine are about saving a life, namely yours. These courses will help to improve your defensive capabilities. I've designed flight challenges for Malibu, Shanghai, as well as a virtual reality course based on an old decommissioned Stark facility. Flying in VR. Think it'll work? Let's find out, sir. Okay, this works. For this challenge, I've simulated a former Stark Industries weapons silo. I remember this place. Initiating flight test. Make us proud, sir.
your game today, sir. Shall we go again? Welcome home, sir. See me when you can. What is this? Another attack? Thankfully, no. It's the location of the helicarrier Orestia. Director Fury would like a word with you. Nick wants to see me? Why does it feel like I'm being called to the principal's office? S.H.I.E.L.D. was monitoring the events in Shanghai. I believe they have intel to share. I knew Nick would have a good take on our ghost problem. S.H.I.E.L.D.'s the best intelligence agency on Earth, and probably off it, too. But I also knew he'd have questions, even after all these years. Questions about why I quit the weapons biz. Considering what I was up against, the answer felt obvious. Greetings, Iron Man. Almost didn't recognize you in that cool new armor. Welcome to the Arrestia. Look at that. As beautiful as the day she launched. I've studied her blueprints extensively. One of your finest designs. I wonder if you get the Japanese toilets. If you're feeling nostalgic, sir. Perhaps a quick fly around? Sure. Let's take a trip down memory lane. Very good, sir. I've marked your HUD with some points of interest. Vapor pneumatic anti-aircraft cannons. Cloud busters. First of their kind. You know your stuff. Remember that at my next performance review. I wonder how 
the turbines are holding up. Hmm. This hangar wasn't designed for an electromagnetic door. Now, looks like S.H.I.E.L.D. decided to go with the lowest bidder on this one. Nice to see they upgraded to my Mark V turbine engines. They've added enhanced shock mounts as well. You make me so proud. Stark Resilient Class Propulsor Engines. Twice the horsepower at a quarter the weight. Equipment elevators. Same ones I installed in Avengers Headquarters. This ship was my last big number before I quit. Strange to feel proud of what I'll never do again. Making weapons was misspent talent, but talent nonetheless. True. I just wish Nick would quit asking me for an encore. This is Arestia Tower, hailing Iron Man. Hail right back, Tower. You have permission to land. Yeah, I was gonna do Quite the commanding view, sir. That it is, Friday. Where's the guy who commands it? Director Fury's in a strategy briefing at the moment. Maybe a quick look around? No, maybe about it. Dispatch. Password, please. The magnet sticks to what it knows. The needle always gets to the point. Room 17 Alpha, please. Go ahead. Agent 19's requesting backup in the Savage Land. What's the ETA? Mr. Stark, this is a secure line. Oh, well, I, I know. I was just... Mr. Stark was making sure it is still secure. You owe me one. Yeah, is your refrigerator running? 
Don't know who you are, but the call box is not a toy. Really, sir? Director Fury off deck. Care for a game? Hey, Nick. I think I'm already in one. <laughs> You're definitely being played. Makes these old drones of yours extra hard to kill, Tony. Wish S.H.I.E.L.D. had something like that. Imagine the possibilities. Maybe the Ghost will sell it to you. We don't buy tech from terrorists. Suppose we could pirate it. That would justify the eye patch. Why'd you stop selling weapons, Tony? You guys kept firing them at the wrong people. <laughs> firing them at the wrong people. Tony, I... Director Fury, new intel incoming. Got it. So this is why you asked me here, Nick? Shields hard up for hardware? Other contractors stepped up. We're doing just fine. That flip phone says otherwise. This isn't ours, smartass. Belongs to your opponent. Or did. We recovered it from the rubble of one of your buildings in London. I saw one like it in Shanghai. Shield was hoping to scrub some good intel off it. But it's bricked. Won't even turn on. Friday still handling analytics? She was. I called up some extra help recently. Give that to her. Maybe they'll have better luck with it. Director Fury, new screen's up on the mid-deck. After you. You know what a ghost is in chess? A threat. More in the mind of the player than on the board. Haunts your judgment. Distracts you. From what? The end game. Shoot it down! It's gone. It vanished from radar. Like a ghost. Look! There! Destroy it! We're hitting it with everything. Nothing's getting through. Moment of truth, Tony. Who wins this game of chicken? Her drone or my helicopter? Tough call, considering I made them both. It's gonna hit us! Off the rafters! Everywhere! Out of the pit! Right Listen to you anyway, Nick. Get to it.
shield. All the rotten eggs in one basket. Ghost, I see you've built a giant cage. Where do you find the time? I hired the help of an independent contractor. Well, you will have to give me their number. Tony, we've detected an approaching unit that's immune to our cannon fire. It's targeting our rear thrusters. I see him. Analyzing new drone. It appears to be a modified Stark Industries heavy attack drone. Ghost has added heavy shielding to the front of it. Suit has been damaged. What are you waiting for? Get in there! My jets are boxed in. The ghost hacked the hangar door shut. Copy that. I'll turn them loose. Sir, that could leave you vulnerable to the attacking drones. Sure, but if I don't do it, Nick will go full fury. Sir, head immediately to the hangar doors. Let's release those jets. The locking clamps need to be manually opened. Grab the handle and pull to release it. Industries locks. How the hell can you tell? I've got a history of destroying their catalog. A little elbow grease is all it takes. Rook one in mission. You're clear for takeoff. Roger. Thanks, Iron Man. Design. You forget rule number one. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Not broken so much as in need of improvement. Ah, so we forgot rule number two then. Don't mess with perfection. Breaking and entering. Learn a trick from your friend in Shanghai? I'll free these jets and get back to just breaking. I promise. Night in Rook 2. Light them up. Let's get him, Iron Man. More enemies incoming. They're attacking the carrier's underside. Cruiser. Help! No, 
team is online. Suit health below optimal, but not critical. Hostile inbound. Evade. Dina! Friday, any update on how to take down this cage? Still evaluating, sir. Tony, we've detected explosive devices inside the helicarrier. Ghost has been busy. Friday, give me a location on those bombs. Marking them on your HUD. Sensing a trend. The nodes at each end supply power to the core. A blast of refrigerant to each node should do the trick. Let's put these bombs on ice. The explosive core is inert. Remove it and the bomb excellent. Two to go. You can't disarm my bombs even if you arrive in time. Give me a fighting chance, Ghost. Why should I? Did Tim Shun get a fighting chance? Again, no idea who that is. And right now, don't care. Freezing your assets, Ghost. One left. Let's go. Are we sure these bombs are strong enough to blow up the helicarrier? Do you wish to test that theory? He damn well doesn't. If you don't do something now, all bombs cleared. Too close. If the ghost doesn't kill you, I will. Just building the suspense, Nick. Detecting a large energy spike, sir. Multiple attack vectors on radar. More? They don't know when to quit. They take after their maker. Throw everything you got at him, Nick. Let's end this. It's an all out assault. Damage taken, sir. Heavy drones attacking the top turbine, sir. We think it's failing. Get out of there.
I got the moves. generate energy for the entire structure, but they're protected against all forms of conventional firepower. So let's get unconventional. An EMP from a shield jet thunderbolt missile could render the node susceptible to your most favorite weapon. My fists? Indeed. Get within scanning range of the spheres, and I'll send targeting information to shield. Information sent. Thunderbolt missiles away. Get inside the node and punch the core, sir. Thunderbolt missiles really came through. Oh, well, here he goes. Imagine the mess we'd be in if you'd never sold them to me. If I never sold anything to anyone, none of us would be in this mess in the first place. Thanks for the help, Tony. Keep that metal head of yours out of trouble. Where's the fun in that, Nick? Till next time.
Ghost was still at large, but the gunsmith AI gave me everything I needed to fight back. Pepper was on the mend. Things were looking up. Or so I thought. At home, a different war was brewing. Are you insane? You are not equipping him with that! Don't you want to win? Yes, but there is a cost to every victory! My god, what are you talking about? To lose one soul in war is to lose the war. Who programmed you, Gandhi? <clears throat> oh, hey, boss. Sir? Okay, minor family squabble. But I should probably go check on them. It's just like, mm. <laughs> you know, and then I start thinking, this, this is who you replaced me with? <sighs> anyway, what's up? Compliments of Nick Fury. Might be some good intel on there. Yeah, yeah, I'll check it out. Better see how Friday's doing. I do want to win, sir. I know that, Friday. And sooner the better. Then maybe our house guest can leave. Look, forget him. What did your analysis of the laser cage reveal? Have a look at this. My analysis is complete. You were right. The laser cage was familiar. Arthur Park? Now that guy put the mad in Mad Scientist. His laser designs were as unstable and dangerous as he was. But he's dead. Wouldn't let me pull him from his ship before it blew up. Well, sir, then perhaps the ghost has resurrected him. I've detected a similar energy signature in Shanghai. I recommend investigating.
Friday. Are you still reading that strange energy signature? It's everywhere, sir. But I see no evidence of... Iron Man! Here to witness my ascension. Mark, you look different. More alive than I remember. Better than alive. Immortal! I am now the living laser! Oh, still not great at marketing, are you? You tried to kill me, but only succeeded in making me a god! I tried to save you. Your faulty tech had other ideas. Ha! My faulty tech is the reason I'm even alive! Oh, really? Because I thought the ghost had something to do with it. We have an arrangement. She's got your laser cages. What do you get out of it? Sir, Park is siphoning energy through that node. Perhaps we should investigate. building Friday? There doesn't appear to be. He's draining the building's reactor. But for what purpose? Once a thief, always a thief. You'll need to destroy that power node with something stronger than your repulsors. Unibeam? That should just do it, sir. Hostiles engaging, sir. Well done, sir. You seem weaker, Stark. Iron deficiency. Lucky for you, Park, this isn't a battle of wits. If it were, you'd already be dead. Park is dead. And from his ashes grows the living laser. Damage taken, sir. Your Unibeam is ready, sir. Significant damage. Proceed with caution.
Hey, Park, you ever consider a different career path? Like what? Hair removal, entertaining cats. Possibilities are endless. I'm endless. You're a flying dead man. Take cover. Unibeam is charged and ready. I'd say you were a worthy opponent. But you weren't. You have a child's attention span, Stark. I trust you'll enjoy the laser show! Clark's attempting the same act on another building. Your power now. Consider a different career path? Like what? Hair removal, entertaining cats. Possibilities are endless. I'm endless. You're a flying dead man. Suit has been damaged. Critical systems still function, but we are struggling. Waste not one. Light calls to light. Be it energy or weapons of war. You can't put this kind of power back in the bottle, Stark. Damage increasing, sir. Your Unibeam is ready, sir.
hubris to think you can defy a god! You know, Park, you could try to make people worship you by doing nice things. Ha! Fear is a much stronger motive, and far more entertaining. Another wave of enemies on route. I see him. Unibeam is charged and ready. Is that the last of them? I'm afraid not, sir. How nice for me! Shanghai's worked so hard to attract energy companies. What do you need all this energy for, Park? Trying to impress someone? You wouldn't understand. Do your lab rats comprehend your experiments? damage, sir. Industries didn't make this many during our entire production run. Then we must assume Ghost is manufacturing. Your struggle is pointless, Stark. You're just flesh while I. Mark, that's rude. We're talking through something here. Sorry, Friday. You were saying? That we must assume Ghost is manufacturing drones. Right. But where? I don't know yet, sir. Below optimal, but not critical. Subsystems failing. Evasive maneuvers. Ready for my unit beam. You're siphoning an awful lot of energy, Park. What's the pet project? Omnipotence. Oh, bad news. I trademarked Omnipotence. You'll be hearing from my lawyers. Unity 
aim at full charge, sir. Damage to your suit, sir. It's almost there. You destroyed my body, Stark. Now, I'll destroy yours. Sore loser. Sore laser. tried and you failed. Story of your life, am I right? My story has just begun. It's yours that will soon end. Painfully. Hulk's energy signature has vanished. Over the years, I made my share of enemies. Now, it seemed Ghost was remaking them. Arthur didn't start out life as a white-hot beam of malevolent energy, yet here we are. There's probably a metaphor in there somewhere, but with him and Ghost out to kill me, I didn't have time to ponder it.
You can't treat the suit as if you were the pilot. Oh, give me a break. He's not a hologram. He's flesh and bone. Yeah, inside a freaking bat Yo. suit. Oh, welcome back, sir. You look knackered. Perhaps you should get some rest. Yo, boss. Whoa. You look like hell. You sleeping okay? Since it's unanimous, I just might call it a night. Don't stay up too late. We won't. Good night, sir. Oh, that better not be a telemarketer at this hour. Hello? Who's Tim Shung? Oh, hi, Pepper. Good to hear from you, too. Someone hacked our social media account and posted justice for Tim Shung 4,000 times before we took it down. Yeah, that'd be ghost. You two met on the plane? When's the last time you slept? You sound tired. Why does everyone keep saying that? Clean living. A novel concept. Hmm. I should go to bed. You know the expression, you can sleep when you're dead? I think my dad invented it. Anything about bootstraps or burning the midnight oil, Howard had a line for. But the problem with sleep when you're dead, as I was about to find out, is that the dead don't sleep. Friday?